Let's see if I can uh, do this mission that I was stuck on before because that frustrated the hell out of me. Jesus. done so far, so. Um, yeah. See if we can fix, do this one, because nowhere to stand. Now here. This just frustrated the hell out of me. Corvettes incoming. Do we have enough cores to take them out? Wait better. Watch it. Core will kill you. Takes care of that. Now it's done. That was a bit of stuff on the floor. Well done, Titan Squadron. Regroup. Enemy fighter has a lock. Titan 3, follow me. A rebel frigate has entered the debris field. Understood, Overseer. Titan, attack formation. Follow my attack vector and engage the frigate. These fools, they underestimate Imperial superiority. Superior strength, superior ingenuity. Starhawk couldn't cross this field without knowing what it was flying into. If the New Republic is willing to sacrifice this much, what does that tell you about the value of the Starhawk? Going to be devastated when we destroy it. Don't be too close when that detonates. That wasn't necessary. Wait for me to reload. Uh, a rebel frigate 
intercepted the debris field. Understood, Overseer. Titan, attack formation. Follow my attack vector and engage the frigate. Look at that, four medals out of five, that's good. That's most we've got. So is this the last one? I don't know how many missions are on this. If I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up, but no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. 
but we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking in. There we go. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the comsats safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. Just do this. You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Look what the nebula's done to that moon! I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorilda gets it. Turret mine. Ooh, cool. Tactical shield, iron cannon. There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Quick, 
We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire's figured out what we're up to.
for you. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Enemy interceptors incoming. Glad you're here. The last one. Is that the last mission? Friends, years ago the rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. <laughs> Look at that. Four, five medals.
When I was a police officer on Park Keller, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our Empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. Yeah. Well, what happened? <laughs> he, he hovered. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron. Not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. <sighs> Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect like Death Star. on the inside. <laughs> Do what you must like to like start a Death core Star. overload and then escape okay. to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Jave stop you now. Okay, let's do this. This is it then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice. Thanks for the second chance. And if you're looking for me, Teresa, 
I'll just get over here with the rest of that battle. Taking out this Star Destroyer. Shame you won't have to face me. Traitor! How dare you talk to us about shame! Titan is my weapon. Poised to deliver the Empire's vengeance. Right. Admiral Leader, when you finish there, come join us. Anvil dies today. The Starhawk and Anvil Squadron, all in one place. All those targets, spoiled for choice. Damn right. After you. I want those fighters gone. Fine now. Fine. Fine. They're not gone.
was close. to end this. 
Jesus. Don't you dare fight James without me. You'll have to go through us first. Titan 3, we're pinned down. It's in your hands now. Titan 3, I gave you a chance at Falstar Haven. I wish you'd taken it. Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron, with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Jade sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. Okay. I didn't think we were finished. Join us. Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Kyo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, 
but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours. No. Okay. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Lyndon's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Well, done those two missions. So, uh, I'm going to stop the stream there. Yep. Yeah.